Hi there. You're in the lab with your mate JJ. So today is just a quick mail call video. In the mail call videos we uh, just take a look at what's arrived in the mail. Uh, not much here today compared to some of the ones that we had recently because of the AliExpress sales. Um, but there are a few things to get through. Um, so let's do that. First of all I thought I should mention that today uh, the October edition of Silicon Chip magazine arrived. So this is the 25th of September today. Uh, so it always gets here just a little bit before the month of issue. So looking forward to that. Of course, I'm trying to catch up with our uh, Silicon Chip uh, mini projects at the moment. I'm in the process of making number two. Uh, I did the first one, the symbol keyboard, which by the way, I'm using. I finally got that working on Linux, which is really cool. Um, so uh, yeah, um, just yesterday, I've, I've, I've already used it in anger. I used the symbol key to represent a symbol uh, the section of an article on Wikipedia, so I look forward to using it in future. For the record, the, the keys that I selected were the degree symbol, plus or minus symbol, uh, the section symbol, you know that thing that looks like an S? Um, I got a lowercase lambda, I've got delta, sigma, pi, um, omega, uh, epsilon, mu, pi, and theta. So a bit heavy on the Greeks there, um, but I tend to use those the most. Uh, conspicuously absent, of course, are all of the currency codes, um, the copyright codes, TM, you know, registered trademark, um, copyright, those sorts of things. Um, I'm, I might actually um, uh, expand it so that there's a menu and you can scroll through. At the moment, we're limited to 12 uh, keys that on the one screen. Um, so we might add uh, a menu or something down the road. Not sure. More likely to now that I can get it to work on Linux because uh, I, that's what I use. So I wouldn't have much use for it if it didn't work on Linux. But now it does, so that's great. Um, oh, I should uh, perhaps um, honourable mention uh, today. I opened this box. It was a bit uh, confusing because it's come through um, uh, Victoria, which is the state south of New South Wales, which I'm in. I'm in New South Wales, Australia. South of us is Victoria. That's where this parcel uh, came through, um, but that was not where it originated. This is from America. It's from my very good friend and mentor, Craig, who is the uh, my only longtime reader of my blog. So thank you very much to Craig for this. This is great. Uh, Craig is a, a Patreon supporter as well, um, and, uh, and 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 thanks to him for sending me this. It was uh, he gifted it to me, which was very generous of him. This is uh, Volume 2 of the Engineer's Mini Notebook series, which are by Forrest M. Mims. I've mentioned them recently. I suppose I should show you the rest of them. I, I've now got the complete set, thanks to Craig. This is Volume 1, uh, Timer, Op, Amp, and Optoelectronic Circuits and Projects. Uh, this is Volume 2, which Craig has just sent me, which is Science and Communication Circuit and Projects. Thank you, Craig. And then this is Volume 3, Electronic Sensor Circuit and Projects. And this is Volume 4, which is Electronic Formulas, Symbols and Circuits. To my knowledge, there is only four books in the series. Uh, so now I have the complete set. And these are the contemporary books. Back in the day, they were published with different, uh, in a different form factor with a, uh, different types of covers and such. So uh, this is new. And this is all from uh, Forest Mems back in the good old days. And one of the cool things about these particular books is they're all hand-drawn. There's, there's no uh, typography as such. It's all literally print uh, written with a pen. So that's great. And thank you again uh, to my friend Craig. Um, up next is just a bunch of stuff from AliExpress, just a, just a handful of components really. So I'll pop you over to the bench and we'll have a look at this uh, stuff together and then we'll wrap up. Here we are on the bench. So uh, yeah, just a, just a few little things today, not, not a whole lot. Um, this particular um, uh, haul is uh, six different brushes. Now to my memory, I got two lots of three different kinds, I think. Um, so let's just pop them out of their boxes and see what we're dealing with. Oh, um, no, maybe I just got six of the same. I'm not real sure. Um, oh, look, there's a cool little uh, doodad there. Isn't that interesting? Ah, fascinating. All right. Oh, you can turn it around and hang stuff. Okay. 
Um, so let's just pop out. Um, uh, oh, yep, they are differently. I'm pretty sure that I got uh, two lots of three different kinds. Um, so let's just see what we're dealing with. <sighs> Um, I have uh, on my bench, I have uh, two, oh, that's a bit, uh, a bit wonky. All right, that's not bad, it uh, went back. Okay, that looks like maybe I got three lots of two different kinds. Yep, that's looking like three lots of, uh, of two different kinds. Yep, so, uh, sorry, it's two, it's two lots it's it's three lots of two it's two lots of three dear me can't even think um yeah so there's two different types and uh there's three of each so um <coughs> uh i'm gonna keep these little boxes because they're cool um so they seem to uh to screw together to screw them up. All right. So, um, in my uh, on my lab on my bench here, I've got um, two two. Uh, I guess you'd call them baskets. I'm not really sure what you call these pen holders. Maybe we could just call them pen holders. I'm not sure. Um, but in the pen holders. Uh, I keep things largely symmetric. So uh, there's a steel brush and there's a steel brush. Um, but there are some uh, variations. Uh, there's two solder suckers. Uh, there's two uh, PCB uh, pens. Um, but I think there's only one keyboard key grabber. And there's only one voltmeter. Um, but largely, um, you know, there's there's a, a pen here and a pen here, and there's flux here and flux here. Uh, I'm not sure if I've got two of these magnetic things, but they're, they're not perfectly symmetrical, but they largely are. So if I need something, it's probably here. Um, so given that I got uh, three things, I can put two of the same. Oh, sorry, two different ones uh, in here, and then two different ones in here. And these two can go in my other um, brush drawer. I actually have, uh, apart from these, I have a dedicated um, brush uh, baskets. Same as these baskets, in fact, but uh, over on the other bench. Not sure if I can show you that. I wonder if I can. Let's see. <sighs> All right. Well, let's throw you over there. Um, so this is me in my in my thing, and uh, up the back here. Um, this is where my other brushes are kept. So I'll take these two and I'll put them in there and uh, that will be happily ever after. Three back over here, so back on the bench. Um, what's in here? Ah, uh, yes. So um, I don't think they've arrived yet, uh, but I bought a bunch of... Um, Arduino Nanos. Um, I figured I might as well. I've got the full set of um, of Arduinos, except for Nanos. I should show you. Uh, uh, this is my bag full of uh, of Unos, box full of Unos, um, and then I've got. Um, a box full of uh, Leonardo's. These are my Leonardo's, and uh, I've got a, a box full of Megas as well. So these are my Megas. One that's already open there. Um, so I didn't have a box full of Unos, um, but I managed to score ten of them, so they're on their way. And I'll probably just keep these uh, in the same box. Um, this is the box of nanos. I do already obviously have a couple of nanos, as you can see. So I'm going to get 10 more of those. And I guess that these, these are just, um, expansion, like screw terminals for, for, for nanos. So, 
Um, that will probably come up in a future mail call, I guess, when those nanos eventually arrive. So, haven't looked in this one yet, not sure what's in here. <clears throat> oh, it's a bunch of nanos. Is it? I think it is. <clears throat> wow, it was so small I wasn't expecting them. Are these nanos? I'm not even sure. They might be. <clears throat> I suppose they couldn't be anything else. What else would they be? I got five of them. Uh, let's see what else is in the other... Uh... <sighs> hey, hey, hey. It's really hot here today in Sydney. Or well, not quite Sydney, is it? It's just outside of Sydney. I'm actually in a part of the world known as the Blue Mountains, um, which isn't Sydney. It's just out of Sydney. I usually say Sydney, though, just to keep it simple for uh, for my friends. Okay. So I obviously got a bunch of different types of nanos. Um... I don't know what we're dealing with here. So this says uh, mini type C nano three with bootloader compatible nano blah, blah, blah. So these are definitely nanos. Uh, and these also are nanos, but these aren't necessarily nanos. They kind of look like maybe they're nanos. Oh, yep, it says nano, fascinating. So I'm not sure what I've done here, but these do say nano. They're, uh, they're Type-C, USB Type-C, uh, and they say Nano. So it looks like a Nano. I'm going to put it in. Um, I might just... Uh, I, I, I try to keep the... Uh, I, I'm surprised I got more than 10. This is 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. And this is 5. Did I get 15 Nanos? surprises me. They must have been cheap. Uh, yeah, so they're all um, uh, similar. Yeah. So those serial numbers are different, but the product number is um, the product description is the same. All right. Well, uh, they're different, I think, to these ones. I'm not really sure. Oh, they're quite similar. I don't know. It's all a bit of a mystery. Anyway, they're all nanos, so they can all go in the nano box, which I showed you already. So let's just uh, chuck them in there. Um, I'll give myself some room. I've, I've got these uh, baggages, baggage. So uh, the reason that I get so many is, uh, apart from the fact that you might uh, release the magic smoke and blow them up, um, sometimes you do just make a circuit that you literally want to press into service. And if you're going to start using it, uh, you want to have the board available for use, don't you? Anyway, that's what I tell myself. Um, what have we got in here? Okay, a bunch of uh, JST connectors by the looks of it. And this is our last uh, container. Not sure what we're dealing with here. Ah, more JST connectors. Uh, I think that those have come with uh, uh, sockets, haven't they? Have they? Yes, they have. Oop, I must have cut it open. Just lost a, uh, lost a thing there. How did that happen? It's a bit of a mystery. 
I don't know. Oh, there it is. There's the little hole there. All right, that explains that. Now, what will we do? Are they all the same? Yes, they are. pH 2.0. So I've got these which are um, JST SM. These are not SM. These are different. Alright. Well, um, I don't suppose you're uh, terribly interested in seeing me uh, file my uh, JST connectors. So I'll do that uh, after I finish this video. Which means, oh, we've got one more thing to do. Not sure what's in here. Ah, okay, cool. I remember buying these. These are fuses. Um, and uh, they're different types. And they are compatible with my new fluke meter. So obviously, um, the, uh, the, am the am ammeters, the, the high current and low current um, uh, uh, circuits on the um, on the meter are fused, 10 amp fused and and 400 milliamp fused. So um, that's what these are. I got them because um, if I blow a fuse, I'm probably going to want to replace it straight away. And uh, if I don't have replacement fuses, that will be a problem. So I got the uh, 11 amp fuse. And the, uh, I think it's uh, 44, 44, uh, uh, I'm not sure. Anyway, I'm pretty sure I got the right type of, <laughs> of fuses for, the, uh, for the, the, the low power and the high power fuse. And I got the cheaper ones. I didn't get, I, I got the, like, the compatible fuses. I didn't get the original Fluke fuses uh, because those cost like 10 times more and I pretty sure that they're just going to work um, as they say they will so um, no point paying 10 times the amount um, right okay so that uh, that's everything I think so I'll throw you over the, uh, the farewell cam and we'll wrap up and that's a wrap so I, uh, I got myself a box full of Arduino Nanos um, those are probably the favorite my most favorite part of today's haul uh, I suppose the, these JST connections were the, the least exciting. Um, very, very, very happy to have received the uh, book from my mate Craig. So thanks again, Craig. That's really first class. Thank you. Um, uh, and, and of course, now I've got the full set. So I'm very happy about that because you've got to have the full set. Am I right? And, uh, and yeah, i got those brushes. So I've got uh, hard brushes everywhere now. I've got the the sort of fibrous ones and, and, and metal ones as well. Um, so yes, uh, uh, not a whole heap today, but some very good things. Um, so uh, yes, and of course uh, the, the silicon chip mag has arrived, so I've got a whole heap of mini projects to get done. That's what I'm gonna work on now. I'm gonna go uh, and uh, finish up this uh, mini project number two. Uh, then I guess we'll get some uh, Maxitronics projects done. Haven't been keeping up with those for a while, so I've Got to move on with that. Um, yeah, and, and uh, uh, so, you know, uh, stuff coming up, uh, coming along. Um, I hope you enjoyed this video. Uh, thanks very much for watching. And please remember to hit like and subscribe.